What's up guys, this is Dennis from Botster and in this quick video I'm going to show you three different tools for automating your email extraction needs. Now before I continue, please make sure to support our channel by liking this video and if you're into automation tutorials and data extraction tutorials, make sure to subscribe to our channel right now. Now in case you're not familiar with Botster, what we do is we build different bots that make your life much easier and email extraction is definitely a tedious and a repetitive task that requires automation and you can save a lot of time by switching to one of these solutions if not all three of them and I'm going to show you how you can win with automation right now. All of these bots are currently available on Botster so you will need to sign up uh, to access them. You can find each bot by using the search bar uh, right here in the header or you can click uh, on one of the links uh, that I will leave in the description of this video. In this particular video, I'm not going to do an in-depth explanation of the mechanics behind each bot. So if you're curious and you would like to understand how each bot works, um, in greater detail, uh, you can go on each page and read the documentation and watch the dedicated video tutorial on their functionality. Now the three bots that I'm going to demo to you today are called a Company Email Finder, Phone Email and Contact Scraper and LinkedIn Email Miner Bot. All three bots are extracting email addresses, but they're doing it really differently. So after watching this video, you'll definitely be able to understand what are the major differences and which bot is uh, perfect for your particular case. Now the company email finder bot is one of my favorite bots uh, on Botster actually and it's uh, rather new and what it basically does, it takes a list of domain names and it searches the internet for emails that have that domain name in it. Now it's a really simple way to explain the functionality but I would say that in a nutshell that's kind of what's happening on the back end. So let me run a quick demo for you. So after you've signed up uh, you can click the start bot button and now you need to fill out the information of the job that the bot will create for you. So I'm going to name it company email finder demo and then all you need to do is input a list of the domains that you would like to extract emails off. So I'm going to input Bentley edu which is a university in the US and all I have to do now is click the start this bot button and just wait for my results to roll in. As you can see the job was created and is now in an active state and it's already completed. So let's go ahead and click the view data button and you can see that the bot found quite a few mentions of emails that contain the bentley.edu domain in them. So now you can go over the list and perhaps uh, use it for your own um, task, be it cold calling or data population or something like that. Now what you need to understand about the mechanics of the bot, and I'm just going to tell you about it really quickly, these are the pages that the bot found or located or detected these particular emails on. So every email basically has a proof that uh, uh, this email had been mentioned here, here, here uh, and on two other pages. So there's no uh, data breach, there are, there's no magic and um, the bot really functions as, a, as an email harvester that keeps um, the emails uh, in the back end and returns them uh, when you basically hit the correct keyword domain wise. Now the next bot that I'm going to tell you about is called phone, email and contact scraper and you can already see from its title that not only it can extract emails, it can also extract phone numbers and other types of contact information. And it's a really cool bot and I highly recommend you watch my other video about it called how to scrape phones and emails. But in this demo, I'm just galloping over uh, these tools. So I'm just going to hit the start button and give you a real uh, life a demo of me working with these tools. So unlike the previous bot which kind of scans through its own database and retrieves the emails uh, that it has, 
this bot actually goes onto a website which you specify and tries and finds all of the contact data information and extracts it into a file which you can later download. Now let me give you a tour. So let's first name our job. Let's call it uh, contact scraping demo. And now you need to select the amount of pages of the site that the bot will scan. So let's say that we would like to extract contact information of uh, the MIT University. Um, let's copy their URL. And now we need to tell the bot how many pages we would like to scan for contact. Of course, you can go ahead and scan 100 pages or even 1,000 pages. It's just going to take longer. But for this demo, I think scanning 10 pages is gonna be enough. So I'm gonna go with 10 pages. And now I need to select the kind of data I want the bot to extract the kind of contact data I want the bot to extract. So in this particular video, I'll be extracting emails, but of course you can also select phone numbers, uh, social media accounts. There's also an option for a custom regex information. Let's say you're scanning some kind of a listing and you would like to extract um, last name, first name, or something like this, or you can also uh, go with a custom CSS selector. Let's say there's certain data in a CSS class which you would like to extract. This bot allows you to do that as well. Now, I'm just going to select emails, that's it for now, and I'm going to paste the URL into here. Right now you can list up to 500 URLs, which can of course result in a lot of extracted emails and phone numbers, which you can later use for your tasks. Now I would like this bot to start immediately and I'm not going to need any types of notifications. Uh, so let's go ahead and start this bot. Speaking of notifications, uh, you can of course set them up. You can receive a message to your Slack or Telegram channels once the bot completes the job. You can also get the file with the results into your email, uh, Google Drive, or if you're an automation geek and you would like to set up a complex automation sequence, you can of course connect this bot to Zapier and do something, I don't know, do something incredible, I guess. So as you can see, the job had been completed and now we can click the view data button and see what the bot extracted. Now you remember that we've provided basically three options. First was uh, the origin URL, which is the, the homepage of the MIT University. We also selected 10 as the number of pages we would like the bot to scan. And finally, we select that we're only looking for emails. And as you can see, after scanning 10 pages, starting with the homepage, the bot found three emails on these particular, um, actually it's one URL. So on this particular page, uh, the bot found three emails and um, I assume there were no emails mentioned on uh, the nine other pages. Again, all of this information is publicly available, so the bot only collects what it actually can find. Now, the last bot that I'm going to talk to you about today is called the LinkedIn Email Miner, and it's actually a little bit tricky in terms of its mechanics, so I'm briefly going to go over them. If you're thinking, oh, okay, this bot will extract um, email addresses from LinkedIn profiles, that's not what's going to happen at all. Instead, this bot will go on Google and scan Google, not LinkedIn, for email mentions. So again, this particular bot relies on information that was scraped by Google and it extracts that information from Google, not from LinkedIn. And to do that, the bot uses a special query, which you can find right here. In fact, let's copy this query uh, navigate to Google and paste it right into here. Let me quickly go through this query and kind of um, deconstruct it for you. So first we're requiring Google to return uh, search results only from linkedin.com by using this site column directive. Next we're using software engineer as our target uh, keyword and we're using the quotes because we want that exact keyword to appear in our search results. Finally, we're using California as our location. Well, not really location. We kind of want this 
uh, keyword to be in the search snippets as well. So we're using California. And finally, we're using at gmail.com because we want only the snippets that include at gmail.com to appear. So we don't really want any information that does not have uh, an email mention in it. So now if we hit the search button, you're going to see that Google in fact returns quite a lot of uh, search results with email mentions in them. Like you can see there's an email mentioned here, an email, email mentioned here, and it's a software engineer, and uh, California is here in the title, and you can uh, scroll down and you can see that there's a lot of results that satisfied my query. And now all we need to do is just scrape these search results from Google and extract email information from each search snippet. And this is exactly what the bot is going to do for you. Now, again, we're getting a lot of questions about this particular bot. So I'm repeating it one more time. It does not scan uh, LinkedIn and it does not retrieve uh, anything that's publicly unavailable, right? So only if a person at some point mentioned their email in their public, uh, in their publicly available LinkedIn profile and Google scanned and retrieved that, we can also extract that data from the search snippet provided by Google. Now let's see how this automation works. Let's click the start bot button, add a name for our job. Let's call it the LinkedIn email minor demo. Now let's input the keywords that we're going to look for. Let's look for blockchain, input the locations. I'm gonna go with Los Angeles and San Francisco. And finally add the email masks. So gmail.com and yahoo.com. Sometimes people email me and ask whether this bot is able to retrieve company specific domains and unfortunately, no. Whatever I tried with Google, it just doesn't give me the snippets with the company domains in them. So for that particular case, I think you should go uh, with the other bot uh, which I showed you before, the company um, email finder. With this particular bot, it's not going to work like that. Uh, it only extracts email addresses that are hosted on public services such as Gmail, Yahoo, AOL, and so on, so, so forth. So it looks like I've filled out everything that's needed. I'm going to hit the start this bot button and wait for the bot to complete the job. If you've been enjoying this video so far, don't forget to like it and also subscribe to us because it really helps us move the channel forward. So it took the bot about one minute to complete the job. So let's hit the view data button. And um, there you go. So we have our blockchain Los Angeles results and we have our uh, blockchain San Francisco results all packed into a single table with the profile URLs of where Google found these email mentions along with names and emails that the bot extracted from Google snippet. You can now, of course, download your results as a CSV, Excel, or JSON files. You can also export them into your Google Sheets. And if you need to share this table, you can make it publicly available by clicking on this button right here, copying this link and sending it to whoever you need to send it to. Well, this is the very end of this video. Thank you for sticking around. Make sure to give it a like, make sure to subscribe, and I'm going to see you in the next video.